Hello all. So in this lecture, we will see how to edit, save and run a script. So in the previous lecture, we have seen how to uh, write codes in your interactive shell and how to run it. So if there are lesser number of lines, you can do that type of interactive shell type of programming. But if you have, if you want to do a large program, uh, you have to save it somewhere. You have to save it in a file or something. So in order to compose or edit and save longer and more complex programs in files, we have to use the script. So scripts are actually program files. We call those program files as scripts in Python. So we can run within the idle or from the operating system's command prompt without opening idle. So after saving this file, if you want to run this program, you can either run in the idle environment or you can use the operating system's command prompt or the terminal. You have to go into the particular directory and you have to run the program. So these are the steps that are involved to, in order to write a script and to run the program. The first step you have to select the option new window from the file menu of the shell window. So if you are using shell, uh, you can use that uh, editor there. You can open the new window from the file menu of the shell window. Then in the new window, enter the, all the Python expressions or statements on separate lines in the order in which you want Python to execute them. So you have to enter all the expressions or statements in separate lines and you are in the order in which you want to execute. And at any point, you may save the file by selecting there is a file save option um, there in the, in the menu. Then you have to, what you have to do is you have to use the extension .py. So you have to use the extension .py in order to save your scripts. Then after completing your program, if you want to run this code, what you have to do is there is a run menu or you can simply press F5 key in Windows or the control plus F5 in Mac or Linux. So this is a way how to run a script. So you have to open a new window. You have to write your code. Then you can save it. After saving it, you have to press the F5 key or there is a run button there. You can press the run button. I will show with an example in the window. Okay, so these are the steps that are involved when you, if you want to run scripts or if you want to write scripts. So what happens, uh, how this Python works when you run this program? So this is a Python code. So this will be written in your window. You will be doing it. After that, what you will be, you will be running the code. So while running the code, what it does is there is a syntax check run translator. So it will check for the, it will check for the syntaxes. If there are any errors in the code, in the script. So it will be checked by the syntax checker and translator. If there are any errors in any, any line, it will stop its execution and it will display that error message here. So you have to correct it. So if there are no errors, then the script will be converted to a byte code. So this is a, a this is a byte code that that is an independent unit. So this uh, byte code is given to the Python virtual machine. Python virtual machine. It is another software component in the Python. So what it does is, it if it if some new input has to be taken from the user, it takes those input. And if there are no out, uh, errors, then the program gives the output. If there are some errors during runtime also, those errors will be displayed. You have to correct those errors. There will be several kinds of runtime errors. So this is a working of Python. So you have to write the code. Then when you run the program, it will check for syntax and it will translate it into the byte code. If there are no syntax errors, it will be translated into the byte code. And this byte code is given to the Python virtual machine. Uh, which is another software component in python so what it does is it takes some inputs user inputs and it gives the program outputs if there are some errors then it will stop execution there so this is how python works so how to detect and correct the syntax error so while running your pro running your programs there might be many types of syntax errors it is mainly due to uh, typographical errors you may commit some errors so there will be typographic errors, there will be syntax errors, there will be, uh, so whenever some such kind of errors occurs, it halts execution with an error message. So you have to correct that line, then only it can proceed. So for example, this is one kind of error, you have given length equal to in input, you have already seen this kind of uh, functions, you know what is this in, uh, input function, what is this int. So 
so it will and uh, it will ask the user to add uh, some length and it is converted to an integer so 44 then you are trying to print this length so what happens is this is a typographical error you have left out g in this thing so it, something like this will be displayed some error message like this will be displayed name error name length a length is not defined like that so this is another syntax error you are simply giving 3 plus but you are not giving the second value so it is an invalid syntax error so this is another kind of error you here if you see the third thing print length what happened is uh, we have uh, given a space here so indentation is very important thing in python you should not simply give tabs or you should not simply put spaces in between so if you give a space to a new line uh, here we are given an additional space after this prompt so uh, that error is message so syntax error so this is unexpected indent so this kind of error will be displayed so uh, indentation is an important part in python okay so these are some kind of errors so you will see this error message when you write your codes and all okay uh, we will see some programs okay after that we will see some examples after that i'll give you some exercises so we will see some examples in this python shell so you have already seen how to write programs in this interactive shell now how to write uh, scripts in python so what you have to do is you have to as i have already mentioned you have to take, open this click this file and you have to click this new file so another window will be opened here so another window will be opened here uh, now you can write your programs okay uh, so we will see this thing so we so we have to use this new file then you can type something here so uh, let me type some code here what we have seen uh, this is hello world program so i have commented this thing then you can write any code like this print we have already seen this thing you can simply print simply write this code that's all and this is the script you have to save it one file you can save this and what you have to do is you have to so i am giving the name as sorry file save so you have to save it hello one dot py so you have to use this py extension or automatically if you just give the file in windows and all you can save it as uh, p dot py you have to save it then what you have to done, uh, do is you have to uh, run this code so in order to run this code you have to simply press this run key run module is there or you can simply press f5 so if you run this program you will get this output hello world so this is how you can uh, run a program so i will take another example so i have already some codes in this this is another example mm. this is another program to add two numbers we have already written in interactive shell so this is another program so here where we are inputting two numbers so this is a common line that's why i have a beginner's hash then yeah the user is prompt to enter a first number we are we have already seen this input function so it will be entered as a string and it will be assigned to num1 another number and the second number will be prompted and when the user enters that number it will be assigned to this num2 as a string then if you want to add these two numbers what you have to do is you have to uh, do this thing you have to convert this string into integer so if you are entering integer numbers you have to uh, convert using in function so you type conversion you have already seen you will be converting those two numbers and adding those two numbers and it will be assigned to sum 
then if, if you want to display the sum you have to use this print sum is and sum so the, in this way you can uh, print this thing so if you run this program you can simply run this by pressing here or you can simply press by f5 key so you will be prompted to enter the first number so if you are entering 34 and second number 56 then the sum is 90 will be displayed then again i will show one more program so this is another program uh, to calculate the area area of a rectangle so you have to enter length and breadth so this is the way you can enter length and uh, input you can directly convert here itself okay i have converted you have, uh, you have the user is prompt to enter the length and it is a string so you have to convert it into float float value and that float value will be stored in length then another uh, breadth is entered here and that will be stored in the variable breadth now we have to calculate the area as length into breadth and length and breadth into multiple will be multiplied by breadth and it will be stored in area then you are displaying that area print area is area now you can simply run this program by run module so it will be asked to enter the length so you can enter some float value 23.5 and you can enter something like 12.6 as breadth and the area will be calculated in float itself so in this way you can uh, run this program okay so then i have mentioned about uh, errors so if uh, we will uh, see this program so if you are giving some in an unwanted indentation so So this error will occur see we have uh, unwanted tab was given so there is an syntax error so this kind of errors will be displayed like this okay so this way you can run such programs okay so so this is how you can detect and correct those errors then I have given some exercises here. You can simply type and see all these exercises. So first one is interactive shell uh, codes. So you have to open the Python shell and you have to try this for uh, expressions and observe the result. You have to simply enter eight. What and you have to press the enter key. And this is eight step two. What is this? And double uh, eight by two. And what is this? Eight double uh, double dash uh, slash by twelve. You have to see all these things so this is actually for quotient it is to display this quotient and this is to display the uh, division and this is you can display the quotient here then uh, another second exercise is write a program that prints uh, or displays your name address and telephone number then third exercise is to evaluate the following code at the shell prompt print your name is name then assign name to an appropriate value and evaluate the statement again then fourth exercise is open an ideal environment and enter the program that computes the area of a rectangle load the program that, that's what we have already seen you have to uh, go, write the script for the same thing then uh, fifth exercise is modify that program uh, exercise 4 and here you have to use uh, for triangles base and height you have to enter triangles base and height and calculate the area of that triangle then another program is to find the area of a circle. Sixth program is to find the area of a circle. Then uh, finally, this, this seventh program is to write a program that accepts the user's name as text and age as number as input. Then the program should output a sentence containing the user's name and age. So you have to simply enter the name and age and you have to display. And eighth program is to input statement using the input function at the shell prompt when the prompt asks for you for input and their number then attempt to add one to that number observe the results the ninth exercise and then input statement using the input function at the shell prompt when the prompt asks you for the input and your first name observe the results so these are some of the exercises you can uh, do so that you understand all those things for what you have learned in, the, in these two lectures so this is a reference book I have used. Thank you.